we're using lures. I talk about lures and one of the important things to sort of notice about the lures, the main reason why lures are so different to bait is that generally when you rig a bait, especially a live bait, the hook is generally out the front of the fish and the full gape is exposed to hook the fish. And even when you're rigging a swim bait, generally the hook is either placed below the head so that the full gape is exposed or just about, or it's the hook is put in a soft part of the bait so that the bait squashes and once again, the full gape of the hook is exposed. With lures, whether they're soft or hard, is they really don't compress that much. So we're really losing the radius of the lure head to really take up some of the gape space. And um, the radius is from the leader hole, which is generally in the middle, um, to the edge of the lure head. The general ruling of placing a hook in a lure is that the hook gape should be equal to the lure head diameter. However, when you place the lure with the hook in it, the hook loses a considerable amount of its gape. So even though the minimum size is that the head goes inside the hook and the hook gape is equal to the lure size as a minimum, ideally, you really should use a larger hook, as we'll show you now. And these are blue marlin lures. They're pretty big. It's a 40 millimeter lure head. So a 40 millimeter hook gives me a 20 millimeter bite. So realistically, even though you think you're using a hook that's really quite big, the effective gape of that hook is that big. In fact, that's bigger because that's a 25 millimeter hook. So even though you're using a hook that's that big, you're only getting that much use of the hook when you're using a lure. When you're using a bait, you get the whole gape of the hook uh, because the bait soft and it squashes, but the lure heads, even the soft heads don't squash that much. Is everybody following me at the moment? Okay. So that's the minimum size. Now, um, I've won a bunch of tournaments and I actually don't follow that rule. I use it, I, I consider that size as a minimum size, but when I actually do rig my lures, for example, on a 40 millimeter lure, I actually use a 45 millimeter hook. So at least I've got around about 30 millimeters of hook to get around that jawbone. And most jawbones of fish up to about 500 pounds, around about 25 to 30 millimeters. So you need a, that much spare gape. I can show you there, I hope, um, that I've got that much hook now to actually catch the fish. It's only from there to there if you can follow what I'm getting at, okay? So realistically, the larger the hook you can use and get away with, the better. And the, and the best I'd, way to show you this is with the light tackle lures, where we do use absolutely tiny lures. Can all you guys see this? Yep, okay. For example, this is an Uzi lure. It's probably one of the best little black marlin lures there is. Um, it's a very cheap lure, but if you follow the rule of just having the hook of the hook, uh, the head's diameter, it's nowhere near big enough to go around the jawbone of a marlin. So the minimum size that we use, even for a tiny lure, is a 25 millimeter hook. So that really doesn't follow that rule at all. You can sort of see that that hook is significantly greater than the diameter of the head because we want to get around the jawbone of the fish. Okay, even with the micro lures, which I've also won a bunch of tournaments on, especially on the Gold Coast, they're only three and a half inches long. The hook size is still 25 millimeters. Okay, bring it back into the picture. Now, the legalities of rigging a lure in tournaments is that some part of the hook has to be in the skirt. So we've got these tiny little rigs, and I can tell you now these things are impossible to make. Um, don't try and do it at home. Uh, we go nuts making rigs this small because bending the wire is incredibly difficult. Um, these little lures really don't have a whole lot of action, so don't worry about interfering with it. Just basically tie the hook onto a 100 pound leader and you're good to, good to go. You don't need a special rig for tiny lures like this. People want them, so we sell them, but you really don't need on small lures. Maybe on the Uzis you do. Um, so use a wire rig, you can bend that, so you can end up with a good little rig like that. Does that make sense with you guys? Okay. Okay, the talk lately has been about a thousand pound blue marlin. Um, I'm sure there's been a bunch 
probably four blue marlin that I know of on the Gold Coast um, that have been released that were really way up there at a thousand pounds and certainly one that was way over a thousand pounds. For a thousand pound blue marlin you need serious tackle, um, you need big hooks, thick hooks, um, these are our Dojo Double Extra Strongs, this is a 60 millimeter um, lure head and that's a 60 millimeter hook. We actually do make a, a larger size as well and these hooks are super strong, they're handmade and they're designed for the really big fish. That's a 16 inch lure, it's a big lure, it's a really big lure, but to a billfish that's a really small bait. Now a rule of thumb with any of the predatory fish which is almost from wahoo, even mackerel and, and especially marlin, they can swallow whole a bait fish 20% of their own body size. So a 100 kilo marlin, which isn't a big marlin, can easily eat a 20 kilo yellowfin. So when you're thinking about big fish, think about what they can swallow and you've got a much better chance of actually catching them. Okay. Of course, you're not going to troll this on eight kilo. Uh, it's a 130 pound um, lure. The hooks basically are designed. They're very thick. They're very strong. Um, you do need heavy drag of around about minimum of 12 or 13 kilos to set that hook. But on 60 kg tackle, you're using 20 kilos. So you're going to set that hook. <clears throat> okay. Um, we make lures of all sizes and all of them catch fish and they're not species specific. Uh, it was really interesting that when I first started making lures, um, that, that's the sizes of the lures. It's pretty interesting that um, they are that big. You can see that there and that's a tiny little lure. It's only as long as its head. Interestingly enough, a giant marlin will eat that lure, the tiny one, no problem at all. The difficulty with that is that we can't rig those tiny lures to fight fish that big successfully and get them to the boat and actually hang onto a leader with tiny lures and tiny hooks that, that, that we're going to be using on those. So we do use bigger lures. They're only big to us. They're certainly not big to the fish.